Hey guys, making a little bit different video today. I'm working on my 1982 Honda CM400, and we are going to address these carburetors. I don't know what is going on with the electrical tape on the boot on this side, or you know the uh, black gasket goop on that side, but they don't run terribly great. So we're gonna see if we can do something about that today. First, I gotta take a bunch of stuff off of this thing, but. You know, she's kind of a hodgepodge old bike, you know, kind of made her out of two old bikes, really. The whole front end is actually off a of 74 Yamaha. It's, uh, you're going to see on my brake caliper there, so, you know, but I'm going to take a bunch of this uh, back rack and sissy bar and seat tank, all that crap, and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, got the carbs off, and, uh... They are, I don't know whether you can see that, but they are pretty, pretty grimy. There's, there's some, there's some crud in there. I mean, I haven't opened up the bowls yet, but, uh, I'm going to do that next. And, uh, we'll see just, just how gross these 40-year-old carburetors are. All right, there we go. And they are, yeah. Yeah, it's gross. It's really gross. I mean, I've seen worse. Surprising it was still running as well as it was, but yeah, next we'll see what the jets look like, I guess. Okay, little update. Uh, so, yeah, the slides are gross. Uh, the carbs are just generally, you know, gross. Not awful, but definitely some rust and stuff come off and the stuff out of the bowl here. Um, in case anybody wants to know what a 1982 Honda CM450C has for jets, it looks like we got a 72, a 115, and a 38. And um, I don't know if these are stock or if somebody messed with it before, but I'm going to actually be changing these. Um, I believe I got a 120 instead of the 115. And I don't know if it's a 72 as well, but uh, that's the 72. I do have a 40 instead of the 38, though, but uh, I, we might be putting a 72 back in. It'll be a new one. I got a full rebuild kit for this. And uh, so, yeah, I guess next step, we got to clean everything. Well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, and I'm back, and I got the carbs all reinstalled. Uh, went pretty well. Nothing really gave me much trouble. I got the 120 main jets in there with the 72 and the 40 instead of the 38 um, in there. So uh, on eBay, it's called the Stage 2 kit, so I put that in stock. Now, my exhaust is not stock. Um, the old pipes are rotted out, so I just put on these little shorties. So it is a little louder. It is a little more free-flowing. Uh, Airbox is totally stock. Um, wrap the pipes there and... Um, but it took it for a spin, you know. Uh, everything ran really good. Everything ran great. Starts right up, uh, uh, nice and smooth through all the revs and everything. So um, it's been sitting. It's nice and cold. Um, been sitting for a couple hours now, and uh, so I did notice one thing that um, it likes a little less choke than it did before. Um, so instead of pulling it all the way, I pull it up maybe an inch, maybe two little clicks on the notch, and uh, that seems to work pretty well. And so we'll give it a shot here. Maybe even a little bit less. There we go. Maybe, maybe one click on the notch, you know, depending on the weather. turns out on the adjustment screws worked really well for me and uh, yeah the uh, runs really well and I'm pretty happy with it I'm sorry I didn't make you guys a video of like me actually doing a lot of the work I couldn't find my tripod to film a lot of it so I skipped it but um, out of curiosity if anybody's curious um, what the hell is going on with this old thing is uh, it's got a bunch of different parts from a bunch of different bikes honestly and um, We'll go over that real quick, I guess. So the tail light is from a 74.5 Yamaha TX500. 
The front end is also from the 74 Yamaha TX500. This is a bike I just sort of had laying around dead in my, my backyard. So we robbed some parts on it, shocks and everything, whole front ends pretty much off the TX500. Um, it was one millimeter bigger um, for the forks than my the original bikes, uh, the 82 Hondas. So I did uh, sort of hone that out to, to fit these. It wasn't a perfect fit, but it worked out good. Um, the tank and side covers and seat is actually from a 79 Honda CM400T. Uh, I just liked it better, and I put it on there, had it laying around. And um, other than that, I just sort of painted it myself, and uh, it's got a new uh, leather skin for the seat. Redid that. Um, but it runs really well. It only has, I think I bought it with about 8,000 miles on it, and I'm almost at 9,000 now. And um, runs really good. All the lighting works. Um, she is she's kind of a Frankenstein's monster, but whatever. Um, got a piece of lamp cable in there that uh, you know powers my tail light off the headlight because uh, you know that didn't work, but we made it work. Um, new super cheap eBay master cylinder, you know, because uh, the old one was junk. Uh, but anyway, it all went well, and if. Uh, Anybody's wondering how well that little stage two kit works. Uh, worked really good. Worked good for me anyway. Uh, I'm going to ride the living hell out of this bike and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.